Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chanel and Everly here. This week we are here showing you guys, I know you're so excited, another baby DIY. And this week it's all about, as you saw, the pacifier clips. So this one will not take a pacifier, which I guess like a good and bad thing, just really depending on how you see it. But I've been using them for teether toys. So I love these because you can hook it onto her pants, you can hook it onto the car seat, which is what I've personally been doing. And it's just a great item for her to play with and it can't fall out of the car seat, fall into the ground, get dirty. And let's be honest, they just look really stinking cute because you can buy so many fun little items for the end. So like I have a cloud here. Um, of course, she needs to have her coffee, which is one of my favorites as well as these really cool wooden ones. So this one is kind of looks like a seahorse, but a unicorn, I'm not sure, but we're gonna call it a unicorn. Let's jump into this DIY and I'm gonna show you guys how to make these DIY pacifier teether clip toys. Using a piece of nylon string, mine was about 25 centimeters long, pull one side through the clip and wrap the end piece around of the string around the longer piece two times. Pull the small end through the bottom loop that you created and then pull it through the two the loops that you created when you wrap the string around. I know this sounds kind of complicated, but I promise that it's not. Once you get the hang of this and you have it pulled through the loops, just pull on the longer end of the string and pull down and you can see here that it will tighten. And this, like I said, will be probably the hardest part of this DIY. It just sounds a little complicated making this knot, but it's just to make sure that no beads will fall off when your baby is playing with this toy or chewing on it. And then you just wanna repeat this whole process with the other side of the string, wrapping it around two times, pulling it through the bottom loop, and then through that loop that you created when wrapping it around, pull tight and there you have it and then I'll just create one big loop of string basically and then I'll have no loose ends that the beads can come off on. A little tip for this DIY is you can use a lighter just to light the ends of your string and this will just help stop any fraying and it'll actually make it easier to make the knots as well as put your beads on. So once you have that all done you want to start by th threading your beads on and here you get to the point is you have the four pieces of string. So this might be a little bit tricky, but you wanna make sure that you put the two loose ends through the bottom of the bead as well. This will just hide any loose ends at the very bottom of your pacifier clip. So you wanna keep going until all this is covered. So you can see here, I put another small bead on, making it sure it goes through those two strings. And depending how long your little loose ends are, you might have to go through a few beads, but you wanna make sure that it does go through two to three beads. From there, just keep threading your beads onto your string. And I found it helped to make the pattern of the beads I wanted beforehand and set the beads aside. So you can do this as well. And when you reach the very end and you put your last bead on, you just wanna tie a few knots, making sure that you pull down. You can see here, I'm really pulling the beads down and making it tight and do about two to three knots at the very bottom just to make sure that that last bead or no other beads are gonna slip off or go through that knot and then come off the string. Now you can pick any silicone teether toy you have, or maybe you wanna attach it to a pacifier, but just loop it through whatever item you want and attach it to your baby's car seat or wherever it may be, and you are done. DIY for the pacifier toy. I hope you guys liked it. Please let me know in the comments below if you're going to try this DIY. And as always, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel as we're back every week with more videos, aren't we? Yep. And this one's getting a little fussy, so I think we're going to go play on the play mat downstairs. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye.